Welcome back to new exercise of Siemens NX 2206 version. This is the first exercise in Siemens NX. So here this is our model, all dimensions in millimeter, material ISO AISI 1060. Now let's focus on this model. Now there is a 175 diameter outer one and there is a whole 50 diameter. Similarly, this side 45 outer diameter and 25 the whole diameter. Distance between these two 150. But if you see side view, 40 millimeter this height and there is at the center you will see this height 20 millimeter. And this one 60 millimeter but 20 millimeter from bottom. So we will keep this one as a plane. Now, if you go to NX interface, you can directly click on file tab and activate new or even though there is a, already a tab create a new file, click on that and a window will pop up. Now here you will find model because we want to going to work on model. Now here choose model, here unit we can define either matrix or inches, I will keep millimeter. Now parts name even though you can describe from here exercise 01 and the location of file even though let me define something like a, let's say desktop okay now here you will see all the specification or properties say okay now the first option is we have to create a plane so click on a sketch now in this window, first you have to choose plane. So click here plane, on plane and select top plane. Now orientation and everything we will keep as it is. We are not going to change anything. Simply say yes. Now activate circle tool. Now you will see this window. Here you will find types of circle and here you will find input mode like coordinate or parameter. But we will use coordinate, keep circle and start from center. If you keep center, you will see xc and xc, yc distance 0. This is origin. Click and here it is a existing point. If you stop moving, you will see the dimension. Press 75, enter. Again, move something near. Again, it will a window will pop up 45 enter and click again the same thing will come move now move carefully at center now this time 50 enter click at center now it is asking you existing point or arc center so keep arc center look now again this time i am going to select 25 enter now move cursor near center point of this, click and again it will ask you point on curve or arc center. So I will choose arc center. Right click or press escape key to out. Look, now activate line feature, line tool. Now here again I am going to choose coordinate mode and keep cursor on the arc. Now you will see a small window pop up, arc of sketch. So arc 1 of sketch this this is a sample click arc on curve move cursor near and if you move near and you will see a tangent click again i am going to select and you will see arc 1 of sketch click point on curve now move And you will see a tangent point at this click point on curve right click ok look now activate rapid dimension now here check expression first object let's say ok directly choose center point arc center Now again I am going to choose center one. Click. 
click and here you can define the dimension 150 enter and say ok. Now this is going to be fully defined if you just remove the dimension, change the dimension. Now simply finish sketch. Now check somewhere outside and activate extrude even though you can right click on sketch and you will find option here extrude here also you will find option extrude and even in drawing click on sketch and you will find option extrude. So unchecked and simply select extrude. Now here, now here you will see there are many options. First section, move your cursor which section you want to keep first. I keep this one. Look, now check direction. You can change direction from here reverse up and down on something like this. Come to limit. Now, starting point always keep 0, press enter and end point this is going to be 40, enter. But this is going reverse direction. So simply I will change direction from here, reverse direction. Now it is moving upside. Start point 0 end point 0 and keep here value no need to keep symmetric or anything for this case value is important. Now boolean we will keep inferred. Now draft we do not need offset draft anything we do not need and here body type keep solid and here if you uncheck see you cannot see the preview so make sure you apply check. Now here say apply do not say ok because we have another body also. Now move our cursor here I will choose this one. Now starting point distance 0 and distance 20 enter look. Now here going to click join and body this body already selected by default because this is going to join with this body. apply. Now um, comes to this move cursor over here and you will see this red click and here the things first start point start point let us make little minus 20 minus 20 enter. Now you will see in this is the start point minus 20 because it is 20 millimeter below. Now positive 40 enter. Now 40 millimeter from sketch plane. So 20, 40 it is going to be 60. Keep here unite because this is going to join with this body. Now say ok. Look. Now it is time to cut a hole. You will see here 8 millimeter, 8 millimeter and from here also 8 millimeter and the depth is 8 millimeter. You will see. Then there is a 3 number of fillets R3. 1, 2, 3, then 3 number of chamfers 2 by 45 degree, that is it. This is simple exercise. Now in top border line, I will choose change here face. Now click on face and you will see option sketch, even though you will activate from here sketch, that is it. Now Activate project curve, just rotate 1, 2, 3, 4. Now here 4 curves selected, say ok. Now right click and select overview, orient view of on sketch. Now see why we keep, and even though you can draw this sketch, but it is pro better to choose project curve. Now here activate offset 8 millimeter. Now here we selected chain 
minus 8 is going to be distance even though you can change from direction from here but that's okay see now just simply apply now activate here fillet keep distance 5 millimeter enter and just select point 1 now here choose intersection again I am also going to choose this point this point move cursor to this point intersection now right click ok that's it now simply finish sketch now just rotate now activate extrude now before going to anything let me choose this face move cursor over and select the face now here change subtract now start value 0 and uh, end value 8 minus 8 enter look now here defined start value 0 and value and direction also defined here by default body selected if we select this one okay now you can hide sketch just simply click on the i button see even though you can if you like to hide datum coordinate system simply say ok activate age blend now first continuity so always keep tangent now circular or conic I am going to keep circular 3 number of radius 3 millimeter is the radius so I am going to select this point 1 2 why this is going like this because here we activated preview Now select the bottom one. Now no need to add anything else. Simply say OK. Activate chamfer. And here I am going to select. First before going to choose. Now here choose offset and angle. OK. Distance 2 millimeter. Angle 45 degree. Now choose edges. So 1. 2, 3, look, previews is selected, ok, see, this is how we made a simple exercise in SOLIDWORKS Siemens 2206 version, I hope you like it, don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS, Autodesk, Inventor and Siemens, thanks for watching.